Hi guys, welcome back to another little geek reviews. I have it's recently been my 50th. Whoop whoop. So and I ended up getting a few little things and I wanna go through them with you. There is quite a bit of stuff actually. Uh, first one we've got the neck the necroconda. So got this sent from me from the the whole shebang. I've also got Shredder to go through with you and the Origins Viper that's another one but then also uh, getting into another line as well so these come out a few a couple of years ago and I'm only just starting to grab hold of these but it's the Muppets as well so I've got Fozzy and Gonzo I've got Floyd and Janice, I've got Ralph and Scooter, is it Ralph, 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 and also obviously I've got Kermit and Miss Piggy, I'll go through them on separate reviews because otherwise this will end up being like a 30-40 minute type of video, so I think the Muppets I'll end up going on a separate one but let's start off with on this one anyway we will do let's do Origins Viper for this one so he comes in the whole classic little blubble blubble bubble pack so with all like the uh, the reptile type of texture feel on it so got the little snake man logo but on the back the card art on this I think you've got like Keldor there as well you've also got the, uh, the little chameleon I can't think what the name is I've seen I think this was just like a uh, maybe off the comic book or was it just a possibility of them coming out in the 80s but obviously they were never released um, but I think we'll see them in the Origins line on one of them Mattel Creations specials as well. But let's crack this guy open, have a little closer look with you. I don't know what this wave, what wave we're actually on this time with Viper. They just, they just keep on coming, is it? It's got to be around 14, 15 at least. This Anyway, this one comes with the little comic book, uh, Leviathan's War. So on the back of the comic you have got, so we must have come out with whatever wave was with Lord Grasp, Terror and Reptilax and obviously he's the fourth one of that set. So breaking him out of his little plastic prison here, so he is, he's not red, he's like a more like a burnt type of half, I don't know what type, it's like a reddy brown type of colour. I mean he's got this proper gold armour case and then he's got these little chains which is actually like the metal chains off the Eternia Viper Tower. What's proper cool is like his head is on that bobble. It's in two parts so it's got that little neck piece going round and his little jaw is mandible as well so that moves up and down proper big old fangs on him as well beady little yellow eyes the chains on this so they are quite secure there's like little tiny gold hooks at the top of them I mean they will slip and slide off it's actually got one of those little lazy bands around them so I'll just whip that off but they will slide off they're on little hooks on his neck piece I'll get that back on now with me little chip a lot of fingers so there's a little hook on his armour piece just under his arm that flips all the way up and round to his neck piece as well now they're all poseable, they're all like modular with the origins. So let's just check his head. So his head 
pops off it's just on that little ball joint his arms they do the 360 they are also pop off but the bend at the elbow and the hands are on that little pivot his waist twist to 360 that also pops off as well his little waistband it's got that little textured feeling on the front and the back just to cover his little cod piece up <laughs> his legs they will all splay out back and forth as well bend at the knee twist at the boot cuff and also a little pivot and twist on the foot as well I'm loving the colour of his actual armour piece especially with the little snake detail on the front and even his little golden gauntlets as well I'm just loving where they've actually done the actual jaw where it is movable up or down or open and closed whichever way one figure I never thought we would actually get as well to be fair so he comes also with a little staff and orb kind of like evil ins but the actual um, staff piece is two little bones stuck together other than that it's the exact same as evil ins now he's got two gripper hands so they could both go in either one but there he is with it in as well now I have got two of these ordered because I wanted to see what the uh, do you know like the other, the other side of King Hiss? I've always got King Hiss in his normal, like, human face outfit. And the actual snake parts are just in a, locked away in a little box, you know? So and they've ne I've never had them on display before. But that's why I wanted to get another Viper. Just to see what it looks like. So I'll just pop his arms and head off and have a little look at that with yous and you can tell me exactly what you think of it in the comments box so I may end up maybe painting his body yellow as well just to get shut of that red so ah oh, his armour piece is in the way of the head I'm probably gonna have to because I know this collar piece is glued on and if so you could like heat that up and pop it off to have his head on properly on the ball joint but what do you think guys I think that looks pretty good. So like I say, get that neck piece off. There. But I'm going to wait until... I'm not going to do it with this one. I'm going to wait till I get the actual second Vipor. And do it with that style. But I reckon that yellow with the gold. I think that's quite cool. But let me know your thoughts on Vipor in the comments box. Why have they put Origins Vipor? Why isn't it not just Vipor? Is there a reason why they've put Origins actually on there? I mean, we know it's the Origins figures. But yeah, if you've got an answer for that, let me know. But while you're there dropping those comments, do the usual with the like, subscribe, tickle that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any others. Thanks for checking in on this one. And I will see you on the next. Take care.